ethical hacking. It's about finding vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. It's about protecting systems, data, and reputations. Unlike malicious hacking, which seeks to exploit weaknesses for personal gain, ethical hacking operates with permission and within legal boundaries. Imagine a security consultant hired to test a bank's defenses. This ethical hacker uses their skills to simulate real-world attacks, identifying vulnerabilities that could be exploited by criminals. By finding and reporting these weaknesses, ethical hackers allow organizations to strengthen their security posture. They provide valuable insights into potential threats, helping to prevent data breaches, financial losses, and reputational damage. Ethical hacking is not just a job, it's a critical line of defense in our increasingly interconnected world. Becoming an ethical hacker requires more than just technical prowess. It demands a solid understanding of legal and ethical boundaries. Aspiring ethical hackers should familiarize themselves with laws like the Computer Misuse Act and the Data Protection Act. These laws outline the legal limits of hacking activities, even when conducted with permission. Technical skills are paramount. Proficiency in operating systems like Linux and networking concepts like TCP IP is essential. Ethical hackers should also be comfortable with scripting languages like Python and have a firm grasp of cybersecurity principles. Continuous learning is key in this ever-evolving field. Ethical hackers employ a range of tools and techniques to identify vulnerabilities. Reconnaissance involves gathering information about the target system. This includes identifying network devices, open ports, and running services. Tools like Nmap and Shodan are invaluable for this purpose. Vulnerability analysis focuses on identifying weaknesses in software, configurations, and even human behavior. Automated scanners like Nessus and OpenVAS can detect known vulnerabilities. Manual testing, however, remains crucial for uncovering more subtle flaws. Section 4. Building Your Ethical Hacking Playground, Virtual Labs and Practice Targets Hands-on experience is crucial for aspiring ethical hackers. Setting up a virtual lab provides a safe and legal environment for practicing hacking techniques. Virtualization software like VirtualBox or VMware allows users to create multiple virtual machines on a single physical computer. These virtual machines can be configured to mimic real-world systems providing a realistic testing ground. Practice targets, such as intentionally vulnerable web applications, offer further opportunities to hone skills. Section 5. The Ethical Hacker's Playbook – A Systematic Approach to Security Assessment Ethical hacking follows a structured methodology to ensure thoroughness and minimize risks. The process typically begins with planning, where the scope of the engagement, rules of engagement, and communication protocols are defined. Next comes scanning and reconnaissance, followed by vulnerability analysis and exploitation. If vulnerabilities are successfully exploited, the ethical hacker documents the findings and provides recommendations for remediation. Maintaining access for thorough assessment is crucial, but it must be done responsibly and ethically. Section 6. Ethics in the Digital Age – Navigating Privacy and Transparency Ethical considerations are paramount in ethical hacking. Respect for privacy is crucial. Ethical hackers must obtain explicit permission before accessing any sensitive information. Transparency is equally important. Clients need to be fully informed about the scope of testing and the potential risks involved. Ethical hackers must also adhere to strict confidentiality agreements, protecting any sensitive information they may encounter during their assessments. Section 7. The Never-Ending Battle Continuous Learning in Cybersecurity The cybersecurity landscape is constantly evolving, with new threats emerging daily. Ethical hackers must commit to continuous learning to stay ahead of the curve. They need to keep abreast of the latest vulnerabilities, attack techniques, and security best practices. Attending conferences, participating in online forums, and pursuing certifications like the Certified Ethical Hacker CEH, are all valuable ways to enhance skills and knowledge. Ethical hacking is not a destination, it's a journey of continuous learning and adaptation in the face of ever-evolving cyber threats.